Six pack abs can ruin your lifts. In this video, I'm going to talk the truth about abs, this bold statement, and why if you are solely focused on getting six pack abs, your lifts will suffer, as well as your endurance. I'll show you some examples, and then how we can increase our breathing capabilities so you can get stronger. Now let's hit that intro and talk. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Specific Personal Training. My name is Dan, uh, where I'm bringing you advice on training for a better you. And if you wanna stay up to date with all the latest content from this channel, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest notifications. Hey everyone, so you're probably wondering, first of all, what is making me produce such an outlandish video like this? Well, often when we see people have visible six pack abs, they will have a really small waist and all this skin all, uh, is all tight around the midsection and the obliques. You know, think of like um, a, a physique model or a classic bodybuilder with a low body fat percentage. Now, I was listening to uh, a Joe Rogan podcast the other day with Lard Hamilton and they were talking about how a lot of people don't have a lot of movement in their rib cage and a lot of this is down to the aesthetical trend of six pack abs. But why is this? A big key to lifting, especially lifting heavy and endurance, is breathing. So many coaches and online videos will talk about the importance of taking a deep breath when deadlifting, squatting, or any big compound lift really. Now, when you have a tight abdominal muscles, it restricts the ability for the rib cage to expand and use your diaphragm. You know, when a coach gives you a cue like breathing into your belly, it's actually a cue to fill up your lungs, push down on the diaphragm and the pelvic floor and really tighten everything that's going on down there. And if you can't do that, then you are seriously missing out on extra reps, heavier weights, and just getting the most out of your lifting. Now knowing how to breathe properly and putting that extra work into your lifts can actually get you out of breath. I mean, watch any videos of me or, or any other lifter doing like heavy sets of five or even three reps and see how out of breath they are, which I believe can lead to increasing to max VO2. And I haven't read any science studies on that so far, but I'll try and bring some your way. And it affects your endurance because endurance is volume. You know, to circulate oxygen around your body, you need to breathe deeply. When breathing optimally, the rib cage can expand up to three inches. But if you have shrink wrap, ab shrink wrap abs, then it constricts the ability to expand the rib cage, push the belly out and compress the diaphragm, which is where all your breathing is done. See, this in turn restricts the volume of oxygen you can intake, limiting your max VO2 and endurance. Now before we move on to the next part, if you are enjoying this video so far, then just type a hell yeah in the comments below. And if you want more on videos on how to get stronger, then click on this link in the corner here. Now this is a picture I used to see around a lot in my early days, where it talks about how aesthetics isn't function, and people with six pack abs can have um, weak core strength and stability. Now with regards to lifting, having a strong thick waist is gonna help you lift more in the big compound lifts. We see this aesthetics versus function a lot in other sports as well. Most recently in the uh, Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz fight which kicked up a storm of memes and everything on the internet. And in the same body type you have MMA fighter Daniel Cormier who actually performs better and feels more comfortable at a heavier weight class. And moving away from the larger body types, you have Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Uh, Conor is very slim, very lean compared to Nate, but he gasses out easily. He's not known for being able to go to five rounds. And then you have Max Holloway, who is more like a swimmer, who is just lean and sleek. And moving on to swimmers, you have Michael Phelps and Rebecca Adlington. And I remember Rebecca Adlington at one time was actually criticized for her body shape 
you look at the first world's strongest man in 1977, bodybuilders actually came in the middle of the pack with regards to the final standings. And these were strong bodybuilders too. Now, if you're struggling to uh, really breathe deep into your diaphragm because you have a tight core or some other reason, what is the key to strengthening it? Any form of isolation breathing will help uh, expand your rib cage and help you breathe deeper into your diaphragm. Um, there, there are many different types of forms out there. Forms out there. The key is to not do breath work while exercising. Now, obviously, you want to practice your breathing while exercising, but you know isolation breathing should just be done alone. It should just be practiced alone. And if you want to know what kind of breathing exercises and techniques to use, well, I have a breathing video right here in the corner that you can see. It has multiple different exercises that, and techniques that you can incorporate while doing isolation breathing work at home. Now, awareness of breath and doing breath work is so important. You see, breath work helps keep us calm in moments of stress and shock. I always like to think back to my goddaughter Amelia. She is a great example of this. Um, whenever she, she used to get upset about something, if she fell over and hurt herself, the number one thing that her dad would do is always get her to control her breathing first. You see, when, when everything's frantic and we're hyperventilating, getting control of your breath and bringing your breath back down to a lower level automatically you know helps soothe you and give you clarity you know it relieves a lot of stress which is why it's so important with regards to meditation work and mindset work and also a great example of this is in the latest advert that they've done about swimming there is like um, a drown prevention advert that i'm always hearing on spotify and it kind of talks in in the short advert it talks about why people drown and about how the number one thing to do is get control of your breath when you hit that shock of the deep water thanks everyone for watching this and let me know if you like or dislike this by mashing that thumb button and certainly share this with anyone that you feel would get great information from this now my question of the day for you guys is would you rather have six pack abs or have strong breathing organs? Let me know your answers down in the comments below. I love hearing and communicating with you guys. Now also in the comment section down below, I will post links to that Joe Rogan podcast and just the clip about breathing. It's great, really watch it. Watch the whole thing with Laird Hamilton. And also in the description section will be links to my social media. So give me a follow and let's chat on there too. And if you haven't already, then click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest notifications from this channel, with all the latest content from this channel. And if you want to see more content from this channel right now, then click on this link here or click on this link here. And I'll see you on that next video now.